Welcome to the Caesar Morning Show, brought to you by the Association of Professional Educators. APE, the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Protecting Georgia teachers from bad drive-by evaluations. Remember, you'll never find peace of mind without APE. For protection, contact us at myapenow.com or call us at 770-347-8797. The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. All right, we are the most aggressive teachers union in the South, hands down. And we are glad to be uh, able to come to you on the 8 radio station, the Season Morning Show. And I tell you, we got a lot of stuff to get into today, okay, this morning. So we have a lot of stuff to get into. So I hope you uh, uh, have your pencil. Uh, if you need to write down this stuff, you need to write it down. We ask that you let everybody know uh, what's going on uh, in public education today. So we want uh, you to know that if anybody uh, wants to join the most powerful teacher union in the South, all you got to do is go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at the office at 770 770- Three four seven eight seven nine seven. Not the studio, but at the Ape office, which is located downtown on Peach Street Street. And you can call us there at, again, 770-347-8797. I'm so glad to be uh, talking about all this mess that's going on in public education. I don't know what to do. I'm excited because on, uh, uh, I think yesterday we had 85 listening listeners listening to this show. That's 85, I hope, teachers listening to this show. Anybody can listen to the show, but uh, our target is classroom teachers, public school teachers, so they would know what's going on in public education today. So we had uh, 85 listeners on yesterday. We had 10 downloads, 10 downloads, and that that just really, uh, that's that's just great because that, that lets me know that the information is getting out there. And teachers are listening to this show, uh, so and 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 they, and they strongly believe that they get some valuable information from uh, the season morning show. So let me get into my slang mode, if you don't mind. Okay, so I want to talk about today. I want to talk about today the Georgia teachers' retirement. Okay, we're gonna talk about a lot of things, but this is the one of the things I want to talk about is the Georgia teacher retirement. See, the Georgia teacher retirement is a it's just a mess. In my opinion, it doesn't really give teachers any real uh, chances of having a good retirement. Okay, and there was an article I looked at on yesterday. It was talking about the Georgia teachers at risk for an insecure retirement. That is so true. Do you know that you have it, it, you have to be? It, it takes ten years for you to get vested in Georgia. Ten years for you to get just vested in Georgia to have a good retirement. I mean, you know, and, and some of you might say, well, you know, 10 years, is, you know, but that's fine. But, you you know, but you don't want to be spending money. And let's say you uh, only get to nine years. OK, let's say you only get to nine years. You know what happens then? See? Yeah, you have your money. It's your money. But you don't really start getting any real benefits until you're vested. OK. So the article says the formula used by the teacher retirement system of Georgia has minimal benefits, which is true. If Georgia teachers uh, stay just nine years or less, they do not qualify for any pension 
or, em or employer provided retirement benefit at all. It it's crazy. So we, we at, at APE, we're going to be advocating at the Capitol. We're advocating. We're not going to be advocating. We are already advocating at the Capitol, asking the governor to look at a better way for teachers to have a better retirement for Georgia teachers. So that's what we're asking. We're asking the governor to look into this. And did, and did you know that, that not all Georgia teachers are covered by Social Security? See, there's some school systems that do cover Social Security. They really do. They, they you know, uh, and I'm not mistaken, I thought Atlanta Public School used to do it, but I don't think they do it anymore. I don't even think they do it anymore. So you need to understand that you know, most of uh, uh, teachers in Georgia are not covered by Social Security. Do you know it is up to each district? That's why it's, it's important to advocate at the district level as well. That's why at, at 8 we go down and we advocate even at the district level. Because we believe that teachers deserve a good retirement. They love what they do. They love to teach. They want to be left alone. So when they have put in all these years... They wanted to enjoy a true retirement. Let me get this out. The article goes on to say uh, that the Cap, Fulton, and Clayton counties uh, who do, do not have Social Security coverages. You see, some of you teachers, and I'm sure you know that because you, you see your check and, you know, you see your checks. I'm sure most of you know this already. But some of you may not know that the Georgia teachers, the TRS, this retirement, I I I strongly believe it's 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 flawed. It's flawed. It's no it's no good. And we're asking the governor to change it to give teachers, uh, you know, a better retirement. So if you believe that you as a teacher deserve a better retirement, and you think this is a good cause for ape to push, and we're going, we're already pushing it. But if you think we should continue to push this issue and, and, and continue to push hard, some teachers may think the retirement is okay. I don't think it is. I think it's poor design. Who have you know designed it? I think it was poor, poorly designed. I, I've already always thought it was poorly uh, designed. Did you know in Georgia, eighty-three percent of teachers who begin their careers at the age of twenty-five will leave before reaching. 30 years of service will leave before reaching 30 years of service. To me, my friend, something needs to be dead. <laughs> something needs to be dead about that. So we advocate and pushing for the governor to, you know, to uh, throw out this plan. And I'll tell you about the plan we're advocating for. Because they don't do anything to ask the governor to push and get rid of a plan with no replacement. So APE has went ahead and, and put a plan together. So the gov governor wouldn't have a hard time trying to, you know, pass this, what APE called the APE retirement plan. That would give teachers more coverage. So we believe that this is a strong issue and we're going to continue to push it. 83% is just, it's, it's just not right. You know, and then, and then, and then when you leave, most teachers leave at before 30 years of service. I mean, that's almost, uh, that's more than the contribution plus interest. You know, so, you know, it, it makes no sense for Georgia teachers not to have a good plan. So we're going to be asking the governor, you know, and, and pushing for this. And so Ape School is advocating for a better plan. This is what we're advocating for. We ask advocating for the governor to adapt a portable fair retirement plan as well as a social security coverage. And some teachers, some of you may think that's just too much to ask for. I don't think it's enough. And so we're going to be pushing these issue issues and we asking teachers in Georgia to support us in these issues that we're going to be pushing because this is for you. Like I said, some of you may like the plan. I don't like it. I think it's a flawed plan. I think it doesn't do teachers justice. 
So we're going to be asking, as protesting, and ask. We're going to, before I start protesting, I always try to get people to do right. Sometimes they do right, sometimes they don't. But we're going to be asking the governor to to adopt the eight retirement plan. And that retirement plan is simply, like I said, it's a portable, fair retirement plan as well as a social security plan coverage. We want both. Teachers deserve to have good a good retirement plan. And the only way they're going to get that is by someone going down there and raising a bunch of hell and pushing for it. And eight is going to do that. It is a problem when only 17% of Georgia teachers will realize their full uh, pension plan at 30 years of service. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. And just over 7% of Georgia teachers will leave before the state 10-year vesting requirement. Amazing. And so I think this is a strong issue. And we're going to be pushing that issue, asking the governor to do something about that. So we not, not APA is not only raising hell and fighting for the rights of teachers in schools and calling out these principal clowns and raising a bunch of hell and making sure you have a, your certification and uh, it's intact and make sure you have a, a contract or your your certification is not at jeopardy. But APA is um, advocating that for the eight retirement plan. So if you know someone, know another teacher, ask them to support the eight retirement plan that we are pushing uh, the S and the, legislate, the legislators to adopt, adopt. So we're going to be writing a letter uh, to go along with our, uh, us going down there, talking to the governor, some, some of the uh, representatives, uh, and, and trying to get them to see it our way. Okay, and we're going to be pushing pushing for that, and we're going to be live speaking to some of the representatives, and we hope that the governor, you know, if you if you say you're for teachers, if you say you all about teachers, and you and you love teachers, and you know, and and, and teacher was my number one agenda, and all this stuff they say to get elected, damn it, then you need to do what's right when you get elected. You need to do right by teachers, and give teachers true rights. Now, if you're not willing to do do that, then you might as well just step down, resign. Because, you know, the teachers are the, are the future. And, 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 and if, if the teacher is not protected, man, we're we in trouble. We're in trouble if we are saying that the kids are the future. And, and if they're the future, it, it takes the teachers. It takes, it takes teachers to make sure that these kids are ready for society. And from what I see so far, they're not, they're not, they are not ready. It's a mess out there. And, and part of the problem, because they're not supporting teachers. I talked about the law about 20-2, that's 131, 32, 132, about teachers leaving the job because of job dissatisfaction. That's why they're leaving the profession. Because of job dissatisfaction. Because they're not supported. So this damn retirement thing, it doesn't, it doesn't help any. This thing starts at the top. It doesn't help any. The governor needs to wake up and support teachers. If you're truly about teachers, then support teachers. Teachers. And you know, it's just a simple, you know, it's just that it's simple to me. It's very simple to me. So if you're looking for aggressive representation, you need to join the most powerful teacher union, teachers union in the South, APE. Join APE. And I'm telling you, if you join APE, you know, you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that things will begin to change. We had two, uh, a husband and a wife to, to join just the other day. And they was very excited to be a part of our union. And the reason why they're excited because they, they finally have found the union that truly fight for the rights of teachers and aggressively, aggressively fight for the rights of teachers. So we're not playing with this thing. We are going to continue to advocate for teachers and we're going to continue to fight for teachers. And we're just not going to, we're just not going to stop because we truly believe that teachers need a, a real voice. Teachers, you know, they are being attacked, I'm telling you. The profession, the profession 
has been attacked. And it's getting worse. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. So I'm saying, or worser, as my grandma grandma used to say, worser. It's getting worser. This thing is getting worser. So I'm saying to you, fight back. It's time to fight back. Also, we would like for you to visit our blog, Georgia Teachers Fight Back. Georgia teachers fight back. And if you would like to write, you know, write an article, let us know so we can put it on our site. Georgia teachers fight back. Because I strongly believe that every teacher in Georgia needs needs to know what's going on. What's going on when it comes to their livelihood. And a lot of a lot of teachers don't know that. They they have no idea what's going on. And they need to know. We'll be back. about Betsy Divorce, whatever, however she pronounced her name, Divorce, a Divorce, or Betsy Divorce, a Divorce, or whatever her name is, that's the educating secretary, she ain't worth a shit, I want to talk about her for a minute, and, and what they have, what she has, did to, uh, or trying to do to public education, what she's trying to do, I say. This woman, this woman's crazy, totally crazy, a lunatic. And matter of fact, she's a clown. She's a clown. Mike, give me the clown. Give me the clown. She's a clown. I, I, I think she's a straight up clown. The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com. Or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. Yeah, let's talk about them. Let's talk about Bess of Divorce, Divorce, or whatever her name. She's a totally clown. This woman ain't got no sense. The only thing she's trying to do is just gut public education. That's all she's trying to do. She's a clown. She's not a principal, but she's definitely a clown. We need Mike to make something about uh, uh, a secretary uh, of education clowns or something. <laughs> Come up with something else. But she's a clown. She's definitely a clown. Okay, even she, you know, she even kind of favor a clown. She looked like a clown to me, so she is a clown, in my opinion, because she. What she's trying to do to public education, you need to be aware of this. Teachers got, y'all got to be aware of what's going on around here. You can't just be, you just can't be sleep on this stuff. This nut is, is trying to gut public education. That's all it's about. Pushing this school choice. That's all it's about. It's about taking funding from poor schools and giving it to private schools. Well, hell, if, it, if, your, if, if you can send your child and I think you should be able to send your child. I'm like, send my child to private school. I mean, I, I, I don't, I'm not mad at any parent that want the best for their children. I'm not mad at all. I'm talking about stealing money right now. I'm talking about stealing money from public education. When you can steal or want to steal money from public education, that's a problem. Stealing money from public education to give it to private education. Well, if, if, if your kid, if, if you want your kid to, uh, don't want your kid to go to the public public uh, public school? Then hell, leave the money alone. Find the money, get a loan, take out a loan or something. But don't be stealing money from public education for the poor children, and then t- come back and tell me it's for the damn children. 
It's not for the children. If it's for the children, then hell, you'll leave the money alone. Leave the money alone. And so she's trying to gut, and she needs to leave. She needs to go. She needs to go. Because uh, uh, Betsy, you know, she's no good. Betsy is messy. Betsy is messy. That's her, That's what we're going to start calling her. Betsy is messy. Because Betsy needs to go. Because what she's doing to public education is a damn shame. It's a straight damn shame. And eight don't is not gonna, don't stand for stuff like that. We don't stand for that mess. Because what she doing up there, bringing that crap, that affects everything. That affects Georgia schools too. If they get that mess approved, taking away money, and she have a nerve talking about she getting tired of people using her for clickbait. That's what she was she was saying this morning. I'm getting tired of people using me for clip. I I think she need to be in jail bait. Jail bait. Because she need to go to jail for this mess. Because what, what she's doing is stealing money. She's stealing money. Now she's trying to take money from the Olympus. She, this woman's crazy. And teachers need to be aware of this mess. Because that mess affect you. It, it, I mean, you, 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 you are affected by this mess. All this mess comes right straight down to public education, and when they start gutting and taking money and funds away from public education, then they're gonna start dropping teacher salaries. That's what they start doing. They start dropping teacher salaries to to contribute to this mess. So teachers have to be aware. You have to be aware of this mess. That's going on around here. You have to be aware of the mess. We're not going to allow. Our members. To be caught up in this mess. We try to keep our members. Uh, uh, notified. You know what I'm saying. Um, and if, if, if we don't notify them. Guess what. We are kicking some ass every day. For our members to make sure. That these crazy people. Do not affect e- our members in any way. We do our best to do that by protesting, picking and raising hell, going to the governor's office, if, you know, if it take getting locked up, whatever. You got to stand for something. You just have to stand for something. So you have to be aware when you have this type of mess out there. I tell teachers all the time, you got to be aware of this mess. You have to be aware that the retirement system is messed up and it's going to affect you when you retire. Some of you are getting ready to retire and not going to have anything. We got to fight this thing. We can't sit around and let this mess happen. A lot of you are going through a lot of things with your evaluation. You can't sit around, we can't sit around and let the principals give you bad evaluation and mess up your career. I'm not going to stand for that. We're just not going to stand for it. So it's imperative. Okay, let me get back to slain. Not imperative. Let's see another word I can use. It is, it's a must. <laughs> it's a must that we fight like hell for this stuff. Okay. It's a must. Because if you don't fight, if you don't fight like hell, like Castro in the hills, if you don't storm the castle, I'm afraid there won't be any more benefits for teachers. I'm afraid that your certification will be at risk if you don't fight back. That's why I started the blog, Georgia Teachers Fight Back. Because if you don't fight back, they're just going to run right over you. You can't allow them to just run right over you. Now, I can't. I don't, I don't care what these other unions are doing. I'm not even wasting my time trying to figure out what they're doing. I, I hope they're fighting. I have to worry about the APE organization. And what we are doing. And we are fighting. We are fighting. Fighting back. We have to fight back. And so teachers need to understand that. It's a war on teachers. Y'all have to understand it's a war on you. It's a, it's a war on the profession. It get, they get now where they bring in people that don't even have a teacher background. And I'm not against uh, people coming in. They can contribute to education. I'm just trying to get you to, to understand that this is a design war against teachers. It's a design war.
You need to understand that. So what they're doing is they're gutting teachers' rights. A lot of you not paying attention to that. But that's what they're doing. They're gutting teachers' rights. And they're gutting teachers' rights every day. And you don't even realize it. And then before you know it, you don't sign another contract. And then the following year, you have less rights than you had before. They're not even giving, they're even trying to uh, take away due process. They're trying to take away due process. And you just can't take away due process if the legislation ain't voted on that crap. The, the school system just can't go and vote on some of policy and say this is law. It doesn't work that way. But that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They, they're listening to these pimp lawyers. And these pimp lawyers just making money off the school system. And they bringing in these pimp superintendents. These, super, these superintendents ain't worth dog dookie. They wanted they 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 were they wasn't worth a shit from where they came from. From the place they came from, they weren't no good. And they're gonna bring them the same, they like they just recycle them. Them the same superintendent that other states got rid of them, and now they don't they don't throw them out here. Now Georgia got a stupid superintendent, crazy superintendent. That woman, uh, Kostoffin, she ain't worth a shit. She's up there in Atlanta public schools. That's what they do. They recycle these superintendents. They ain't worth dog doo-doo. They just ain't worth nothing. And they come down here trying to push these same plans, and half of them haven't, haven't even been principals. Never been a principal. Now, how the hell are you going to try to run a school system and you don't know how the school system run? You hell, you ain't even never been a principal. Cause stop it. Atlanta public school. The woman ain't have, my understanding, the woman have never been a principal. That's what I was told in my research. I, I discovered, unless I, if I'm wrong, somebody call me and tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Think or whatever, how you want to hell with it. I don't care. I don't think I'm wrong. The woman having the woman came from Texas, I think. And they wanted to get rid right over there. They had hunger out there in Texas. They hunger out there. She came here to 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 Georgia to be superintendent and they didn't want an idea now why would georgia want something that somebody else don't want i don't understand that and wonder why you're the lowest on the on the, on the testing field hell the texas didn't want it why would why should we want her why should we want if texas didn't want her see they bring these superintendents in they ain't they ain't, they ain't no good and all these superintendents trying to do is just trying to find uh, 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 to retire the high salary, and whoever they like prostitutes, whoever will give them the uh, more money, they'll go and be superintendent at their school. They like prostitutes. They are prostitute superintendents. That's what they are, prostitutes. But whoever get them the most money, that's where they'll go and be superintendent at. So when you bring these superintendents from these other states that don't prostitute it, them, and you get them, and you start prostituting them, we get the same mess. If they don't want her, why should we want her? If they think she stink, then we should think she stink. We shouldn't want her. That's what we're talking about. So they bring these superintendents here. They bring these superintendents here and they, ain't, they, and they come, come up with all this stupid stuff. All this stupid testing. Just testing the kids to death like they're robots. Just testing them to death. And using these testing materials that they make money with. That's all it's about the money. It's all about the money. All these consultants out there trying to push a better reform. Ain't no damn better reform. You just get order. Put order in your school. Make kids behave and learning will take place. It's just that simple. But they want you to think. You need to think. It, 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 I do not understand why teachers 
don't understand that they have to have protection. I don't understand that. I don't understand why they allow these administrators to ruin their career when they, they don't went to college and some have masters and doctor's degrees. They don't work so hard and they, and they still owe money. If you, just like I do. Still owe money for your degrees. And then when you do get a good job, you let the administrator destroy it. Not only did they destroy your career at the school level, but they destroy you can't get a job nowhere else. Nowhere else. It's sickening to me. That's why I beat up on administrators like I do. That's why I pick it and protest and raise a lot of hell like I do. Because I truly believe that the way they treat teachers is, 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 is unconscionable. How some of these people just you know, you work, you get up every morning, you go to the job and the, and the principal's waiting to try to hurt you. Writing, waiting to write you up, tell lies on your evaluation. Wow. And the sad thing about it, y'all pay, these, pay money to unions, don't even do anything about it. If I'm lying, you know I'm not lying because you know yourself. You call the union, you call the union, they ain't worth nothing. Some of these unions, you know, and you call them. And they want to know what you done. What what you, did you do? Did you put it in writing? Did you notify the principal? What the hell is... What? Oh my goodness. Why would you pay money to, to a union that don't fight? Or not a, a union that's not aggressive when they, when they come to your certification? In your livelihood? I don't understand that. Most of these people come to APE, they've been members of GAE, PAGE, and now this edu- education first, educators first. More like educators last, in my opinion, educators last. Because when you have members coming to join APE, that means shit, you can't be educators first. You can't be. AFT. Let me go, just call them out. And they don't do anything. My co host was a member of AFT. Didn't do anything. Didn't do, didn't do nothing. Unbelievable. And people say, well, you shouldn't talk about it. Just do what you do. I'm, I'm going to call them out. <laughs> I'm going to call them out because I think it's crazy. Abe's going to get members. I'm not worried about my money. Abe's going to get members now. But I just think it's crazy for you to be paying money to a union that is not going to fight for you. I can't, I'm sorry. I can't understand that. Especially when I'm meeting with teachers every other day and they join an Abe, they've been, they're members of these organizations. That tells me they're not doing anything. When your members start coming to my organization or our organization, that tells me that they that they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. But that's where we at today. That's where we at today. If you look want to advertise on the, the Caesar Morning Show, please call our office if you would like to advertise on the Caesar Morning Show. You can call our office at 770-347 8797. That's 770-347-8797. So we're talking about how the retirement plan is messed up. We talked about Betsy DeVos. And we're going to wrap it up. When I come when we come back, I want to talk to you about the complaint, the grievance law. The, when you make a complaint. Some of these complaints, the principal is not even listening to these complaints. They, they are, they are, what I say, how can I say this? They are truly ignoring the law, what the law says. And we can use that against them. See? But, you know, you have people that are members of other, other organizations, they don't even know that. They don't know if you file a complaint. They have, they have to hear it. 
they don't have a choice. They can't come back and say, well, you don't have enough stuff written in here. It don't look good enough, and we need you to redo your complaint. No, you don't have to do that. You write your complaint, you send it in. As long as it's not about the evaluation process, the law says it can't be about evaluation. But I know how to get around that too. But as long as it's not about the evaluation process, you can grieve what you want to grieve. We'll talk about that when we return. You know, um, it's very imperative. To, uh, sorry, it's, well, it's very imperative to know your rights, and I talk about that all the time. And I try to even get that in on, on every episode to tell teachers that it's important to know that because it, it is important to know that. It is very important to know your rights. And one of the rights I want to talk to you now is, is about the complaint, the grievance law, okay, which is located in the Georgia statute school laws, 20-2-989, 20-2-989, when you file a grievance against an administrator, the statute wanted you to be able to resolve that at the lowest level. Meaning, you know, you in the principal to try to, you know, reserve morale so you can deal with that situation without, and, and, and both of you can come, you know, come away from the meeting still liking each other. Okay. So at the lowest level, you can't, be, you cannot be represented by a union in Georgia. Okay. But at the second and third level, you can be represented by, the, by a union. That means when you go to the first level and you're not satisfied, that's a second and a third level, you have a right to be represented by representation, by ape or whoever union you're with. But I want to talk to, you, talk to you about the first level. Because sometimes on the first level, the principal won't even hear it. She'll say something like, well, you know, uh, I don't have time to hear it today or I don't have time to hear it tomorrow. Or she'll say something like, you didn't you didn't write the right things in the grievance or you uh, I don't have to meet with you because you didn't uh, add this in the grievance when you wrote it. Or they may say something like. Uh, I have to wait until I have someone can be in the meeting with me. And, you know, they come up with all kind of, all kind of stuff, all kind of lies, really. And believe it or not, sometimes they don't know the law. Don't, don't think they know the law because they're a principal. Because a lot of things they just don't know. They're just straight stupid. And, um, but anyway, 20-2-989. 20-2-989 is a says this. Paragraph 5. A provision whereby the complainant, which is, which is you, if you're complaining, is entitled to present of an individual of his or her choice to assist in the presentation of the complaint at the central office. That means at the second level. Okay. 
Now, also, let me read this. Because I want to make sure you get it, okay? I know it by heart, but I want to read it to you, okay? Now, it says here that the complainant has a right to file the grievance and have a right to be heard and shall, I'm sorry, be heard. Okay? That means you just can't decide that you're not going to listen to something. You just can't decide that you're not going to hear what the, uh, the principal just can't decide that she's not going to listen to your grievance. She has to listen to your grievance. Now, if she doesn't agree with it, with the grievance, she could uh, write her decision saying she doesn't agree with the with the with your grievance. And after that, they will file to level two. And I represent you and raise a lot of hell. And we'll rip her apart. So I just wanted you to know that in 20-2, that's 989, you, you have a right to be heard. It's not the principal discretion. It's not her choice to hear you or not. She has to hear what you have, have to say. If she doesn't, that's a violation. And then when she do meet with you, she have 10 days to get back with you of that decision. If she doesn't get back with you within 10 days, we file a, another grievance at the second level, another violation. I'm telling you all this because they do this. They do all this type of mess. They try to destroy your career through every level of the law. And if you don't know the law or the laws, you lose every time. And you say, well, I know, Mr. Haynes, you don't expect us to know the law, do you? No, you don't have to know the law. That's why you need to be a part of a union that fights for your rights. A union that truly fight aggressive, aggressively for your rights. Of course you don't have to know, but if you're a teacher and you out there and you don't have, you're not protected by anyone, you need to know something. You need to know something. So I say to you, you need to join the Association of Professional Educators, APE. You need to join APE. Okay, and the reason why I say that because we fight any violation of the law we will bring them to their knees any violation of the law we make sure we bring them to their knees we have saved many jobs this year long I think I said that yesterday and I'm telling you we are the most aggressive union. And you'll find out. Don't take my word for it. You'll find out because they're going to attack you. And you're going to see. But I'm saying, why would you wait to be attacked? Why won't you protect yourself right now? Why do you have to wait for someone to attack you? And destroy your career? Because that is the problem. See, most of the people that a, uh, a member of other unions, they come to eight and we had to charge them a pre-existing fee. We have to because they haven't been a member. So we have to charge them a pre-existing fee. We look at their uh, situation and see what it's going to take, what it's going to take for us to get involved. And we had to charge them a pre-existing fee. And sometimes that go all the way up to $3,750, $3,750, sometimes $5,000. It, it depends on what the problem is. That's why it's imperative for you to be a member. So when something happens, you don't have to pay all that type of money. You never know if something's going to happen or not. You never know. I tell teachers all the time, you don't know. But it, you'll be happy to know if something do happen, something does happen, you're protected. And you don't have to pay all that money for attorneys and stuff that we got you covered. But we can't allow members to join eight that's been paying other unions for years. It's not fair to the eight members. The people that have been paying eight and trust and value eight. Do they someone join for $40 and fix a, whole, a big problem? So that's why you should join. You should join because 
You never know what may happen. You may have a great principle. You may think you have a great principle, and, that's, and that could be true. But you never know if a kid's going to tell a lie on you. Kids lie. They get mad at you. And they tell lies on you. And most of the time, the administrator believe, believe them. And there's going to be an investigation. And sometimes the administrator is the one that you think you like, throw you on the bus real quick. They just throw you right on the bus because they say, look, I'm not going, I'm not losing my job because you decided to shake, shake the hell out of little Johnny. <laughs> of course, I hope that's not the case. <laughs> you know, you know, so I'll put your hand on, you know, you can't touch them. I tell teachers all the time, a lot of teachers touch students. I used to jack them up myself when I talk, but you can't touch, you can't touch them. You just can't touch them. Okay. That's the law. Okay. You damn if you do, you damn if you don't. Now, unless they're killing you, you're having a big fight and you just can't sit there and let the kid kill another kid. Uh, you know, we have a lot of that stuff going on right now. Even when in situations like that, I represented members and I, and I said, then I said, this, this shit is crazy. They were trying to fire the teacher for stopping a fight that was almost killing another kid. It's almost, I, I, and I told them then, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. If you don't do nothing, you're going to get fired. If you do something, they're still trying to fire you. So it make it hard for teachers. Some, that's why most teachers just turn their, turn their backs and walk away. Or mash a button all day long, you know. And you mash the button, they don't show up. So this real stuff we're talking about. I hope you enjoyed the season morning show. We have uh, had a lot to talk about today. And I'm telling you, uh, pretty soon you, my co-host will be in and and he's going to be part of the show and we're going to have a good time and you'll be able to call in live and talk to, talk to us. Tell us about where these clowns are located. We don't know where these clowns are located until you tell us. If you know that, that you have a principal clown and the, or you know where a principal clown is at, let us know. Join the Association of Professional Educators so you can sleep at night. And be thankful that your job is protected. We enjoy talking to you. We ask you to, to, to listen in on the season morning show on tomorrow. And I tell you, we you know we we think about uh, doing this show two days in, during the week and, and on on Saturday mornings. And so we're bouncing the ideas all around, trying to see how we can uh, have a, a a great show. So we thank you for listening. Hey. See you on tomorrow. Welcome to the Caesar Morning Show, brought to you by the Association of Professional Educators. APE, the most powerful and aggressive teachers union of the South. Protecting Georgia teachers from bad drive-by evaluations. Remember, you'll never find peace of mind without APE. For protection, contact us at myapenow.com or call us at 770-347-8797. The Caesar Morning Show warns teachers of principal clowns in America. To find out if your principal is a principal clown of America, go to myapenow.com. That's myapenow.com or call us at 770-347-8797. If you are a member who would like to add your principal to the clown list, email us at aggressiveprotection at yahoo.com. Now, let's talk about these clowns with Caesar. <laughs>